Well, this week we decided to build a charcoal retort. Essentially, what we got is chamber to hold the hardwood that we're going to convert to charcoal and another chamber that provides the heat. So I started out with just a bunch of scrap I found around the property. We got a 45 gallon drum with a lid and I think these are about a 200 or 250 gallon oil drum, the kind you'd find in a house to heat a home. At the back um, we have the gas tube. So the idea is that as the wood is off gassing, the gas comes out of this tube. We leave this off at the beginning and it vents until the gas becomes flammable. Once the gas becomes flammable, we put the weight on. It acts as a safety valve. Then the gas will redirect into a burner which you probably can't see but it's under the uh, chamber so let's fire this up and see how it goes what do you think i think it'll be good i think so too all right we're lighting the fire we've got the torch in there the wood is sealed we're gonna light this up and see what happens. I've never done this before. This is all just from research on YouTube. I think we're lit. What do you think? Yes. Me too. All right, now we wait. We're up and running. We got a good hot fire roaring inside. And see but there's quite a bit of moisture coming out of the wood so we're getting there top tube is off gassing white so I assume that's just steam well it seems to be staying lit for longer and longer which I guess is what we want and pretty soon I'll put the weight over it and we'll redirect the gas into the burn chamber. And then I'll go to bed. And there's some of the nasty stuff coming off of this wood. I assume it's like a combination of water and tar. Okay, time for the reveal. I actually did this once before, but the last time I cracked this, I only found about a quarter of the material converted. So what I discovered was this needs a lot of heat. I got to get a uh, thermometer on my barrel there. And I just added some vent holes to increase the amount of heat this thing cranks out. I got the two two inch holes there four inch and a half holes on the front and four inch and a half holes on the side and yesterday when I was running it was super hot so we're gonna find out That looks better. That looks nice. It's converted all the way through. I'd say that's a success. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna store all this and start the next load. Thanks for watching.